guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a while, four months. I didn't realize how long it had actually been. So the last video I released was after I'd upgraded PC fans, got things to run a bit quieter um, after having all sorts of issues with the previous fans. Still working great. Part of the reason for not having videos is, well, several reasons really. One was I had quite a big car crash in the middle of April, uh, resulting in my Audi A5 being a total loss write-off just before I went to America, which then resulted in me rushing around to buy a new car. And uh, obviously I had the three weeks in America, which was fantastic. And I also have just had another holiday in Turkey and it's been mental at work, so I haven't haven't done any more videos because I'm pretty being honest been a bit too busy and preoccupied with other things I've also had thoughts on this channel and thought I need to rename it I need to, to redo it really because when I launched this channel I launched it as Robbo's Real Tech Reviews and it was all going to be about technology and things I was putting in the house and as you saw with my Bose speakers and my Chromecast that I put in there and the Google Homes and things but as any of my friends will tell you, I've got multiple interests in their cars, computers, various other things. So part of the reason there's not been any more videos is all of my spare cash has been going on bringing my new car, my replacement car, up to the standard that I want it to be um, to replace my Audi. So when my Audi got destroyed, I decided to replace it with a BMW 430D M Sport as my everyday car. And I decided to get rid of my 2002 BMW 330 Cabriolet and just go down to the one car. One lot of insurance, one lot of tax, one lot of maintenance, one car to get where I want it. Now the, the 330 that I had was always a long project that needed paint, engine work, clutch, flywheel, leather refurbishment, you name it, a new roof, it needed all sorts of doing to it to get it to be the car that I wanted it to be, which was then going to be a weekend toy. To have got it there, I think I probably would have had to have spent in the region of four to five thousand pounds. Now, a good clean 2002 onwards BMW 330 without paintwork, without those issues, is probably worth four to five thousand pounds if it's in the right spec for the right buyer. I could have spent that, got mine perfect for the way I wanted it to be. And loved it but I wouldn't have made any money I'd have basically thrown good money after bad and in essence been out of pocket based on what I paid for the car in the first place so bit the bullet got rid of that cleared out the garage and went down to one car and I have to say I am over the moon with the 430 when I edit this and you all know my edits are horrible when I edit this there'll be hopefully be a few pictures cut in there that just after this now to telling you showing you the new car So ultimately, um, that's that's what's been taking my car time. That car, I've had the wheels redone because whoever owned it before had driven up every single curb in in England, I think, and curbed them all. I've had the M Sport Performance Body Kit added, and I'm now in the process of taking it back off, repainting it, and refitting it because the the paint that was on there wasn't great. So we're going to redo that soon, and I've put wheel spaces on just because that make the car sit a little bit better. And that that's pretty much it. I've had it fully professionally detailed by Foxtail Detailing, who's done a wonderful job and will be um, topping up the wax with some ceramic uh, infused wax, not ceramic coating, not going to the expense of that, but some ceramic infused wax, which will hopefully give it an even more glossier shine. He'll be doing that when we do the kit and when I build his Hackintosh. So, 
I'm going to rename the channel Robbo's Reviews because there's a lot of stuff going on and a lot of things that I'm reviewing. So, as I mentioned, I'm into cars, love my cars, and they take up a lot of time. I go to the odd show if I can, and that sort of thing. So, I'm going to be doing bits on the BMW. But one of the things that I've done is that I have been to a show this year with my friend Foxtel Detailing and I've bought a DAS 6 machine polisher. And I've never really been one that's been into car detailing, car cleaning to do a great deal. I'll, I'll get the jet wash out and wash the car and dry it off, but I'm not someone that's prolific and, and thoroughly enjoyed it. But I've really enjoyed the show and, and the whole vibe about detailing. So it wasn't a huge amount of money. I thought I'll buy this, buy this polisher. And Chris from Foxdale Detailing is going to give me a lesson on using that. So again, I can see me getting into that detailing cars. The first car that I'm going to detail is my sister-in-law's 2009 Fiesta. It was originally my wife's car, but it's a 2009 Fiesta that has not been polished since it's been built. So, and it's black. So it's got swirl marks all over it, chips all over it, not in great condition. I'm not going to spend any money refurbishing wheels or making it look showroom fresh. But I'm going to machine polish it, and Chris is going to give me a lesson to make sure I don't, don't do it all wrong. So that there may be a video on that, and I may review polishes that I'm using, the actual machine polisher, that sort of thing. Other stuff that's going on, still tech related, still got a hacking touch from my dad's desktop PC that's still waiting for me to, to do that. Chris from Foxdale Detailing, he wants one building as well for video editing um, for him when he's. Uh, when he's you know done a detail on a car he wants to be able to to showcase his work and edit video so i have just picked up for him or just bought but i've got to go and collect later a dell optiplex 7020 which has an i5 4590 4 gig of ram in there at the moment and um is the haswell chipset i believe so you know very compatible for, for Hackintosh so it's it's not the small form factor one so it's in the bigger case so we'll be able to add probably a GTX 960 970 um, something like that without going over the top some point in the future we'll probably go to a 4790k to give it a bit more you know more threads still quad core but but um, eight threads rather than four threads and upgrade the RAM from 4 gig to 16 gig so it will be a much more powerful system ideal for video editing with solid state so again gonna get my tripod still gonna get the tripod back off the grumpy golfer but I'll do a, I'm gonna do a mini series on that probably in five or six bits of upgrading the components in the PC to start then building the actual um, installer for Hackintosh to, to get you set up then going through the process and getting it all up and running so that'll be a, another video there along with my dad's zoo storm one so with two two machines there that I should be able to show being Hackintoshed. Um, the sewn off switches that you may have seen a video I've done previously uh, reviewing those, for me they've stopped working and I don't know if it's my switches or if it's something's failed in them but they will not reconnect to my router, they just don't seem to work particularly well. Because of how cheap they were, I'm actually gonna just get rid of them and I'm gonna to go to a smart plug solution for the uh, lights that are in the garden because the Wi-Fi is strong enough to do that. And in the kitchen cupboards, rather than using the Sonoff under uh, cabinets, which is uh, the lights that have got the Sonoff switches, I'm gonna to switch to an LED strip like I've got in the, uh, in the under the office desk. But probably not gonna do that until I get a new kitchen. So when the new kitchen comes, there'll be tech going in there, so there'll be reviews from that, no doubt. That's hopefully going to happen later on this year. The other thing that I'm doing a longer term review on is, is on my wrist. So those of you that have watched the channel keenly will have seen that my watch of choice was my Tag Her Grand Carrera Day Date, which is a very special watch. And um, part of, mainly special because it's in memory of, I bought it to remember my mother-in-law by, and it's just a watch I've always wanted, always loved Tag Her and that was the watch I, I chose to buy. But when I was in the States for my holiday, I went to San Francisco, and I would expect, like any tech person, most tech people that, that follow me, follow the channel, would say, well, I can't come all the way to San Francisco and not go to Cupertino, especially with the new headquarters having been built. 
So that's what I did. Drove to Cupertino, went to the at the Apple the Apple store there, or oh, at Apple Park. Unfortunately, I was hoping to have more of a look around. I managed to drive around a lot of the older buildings, but the headquarter is very much hidden, and you know you, you you can view it on Google Google Maps far better than you can view it by actually being there. You could just see the loop of the circular bit, but you weren't allowed in. You weren't allowed to walk around. But whilst I was there, because the dollar being where it was and the exchange rate and tax, I ended up buying an Apple Watch Series 3, 42 mil, and Milanese loop band um, for my new daily watch, which has meant that the tag has been kept nicely in the box and will be used for special occasions, which is what I probably should have used it for anyway. So I've had this now, probably this watch now, probably for four months, three months, four months since I got back, and it's it's great. It is absolutely fantastic. It tracks your exercise minutes, your standing, your, your move goals, all that sort of stuff. Now I'm overweight. You can see that in the video. I spent too long sat in the chair here. I spent too long sat in the chair at the office. Too long sat in the chair at my car. And that's got to change and I'm trying to, as, as a lot of us are. And one of the things I do is I swim, which is why I wanted the Series 3. And I've just got back from 10 days in Turkey. And on every day on that holiday, I wore the watch and I smashed all of the targets for exercise, for movement, for standing, because you're on the go. So the challenge now is to keep that going. Now I've got back. But that was a great purchase. Really like the Milanese watch. It is a uh, Milanese strap. It is a genuine Apple one. It is an expensive strap. I think in the UK it's £180. And I don't think I'd pay that for the strap. But it, obviously with it being dollars... It was it was quite a bit cheaper and I did get some discount on it as well. The watch itself, I can't remember what, what it worked out to, but again, you know, it, if you if you're on the Apple ecosystem, which I am for everything with the iPad, the iPhone, the watch, the the Hackintosh, the MacBook, it's all on that ecosystem. It all works great together. So just before I start recording this, my wife rang, PCs ringing, and MacBooks ringing, the iPad ringing, and my watch is vibrating. So if I hadn't heard one of them. You know, I've got no excuse for missing a call. So that's kind of on a long-term long -term review. I'm not going to do a specific review on it, but I'll probably update it within future videos saying how I'm getting on with it and, and how it's working. Obviously, next month, the, the Series 4 is coming out. Don't see me buying that unless it's a massive jump from the Series 3, which I doubt it will be. But we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what's happening there. And obviously, the... Um, the watch works with my iPhone 10. Now I've got the iPhone 10 on launch. Again, I'm not going to do a, a review on that. There's enough reviews out there showing what the iPhone 10 is. If you like the iPhone, you'll love the iPhone 10. If you don't like Apple, if you hate Apple like my brother-in-law does, you'll hate it because it's Apple. I ain't bothered. I love it. I love Apple. So it works for me. Camera's great. Does every function that I want it to, and it works great with the watch. So you know. They're on long-term review, if you like, but I can't see me moving from the brand. Um, so yeah, that so future videos coming up, I guess, is 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 what I'm what I'm sort of saying. So there'll be two Hackintosh videos, start to finish guides for Zoo Storm and for Dell. There'll be the Das Pro um, machine polisher when I when I do my sister-in-law's car, so I can do some start finish videos and and show the, 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 the progress I'll make with that car. There'll also be some other stuff on the day I'm doing that because I'm expecting it will be the day that I have the my neighbor's Porsche Boxster over um, that Foxtail Detail is, is doing, which is, or should be red, but is extremely pink. So I'm expecting to do lots of before and after photos on that because I think that will be really, a really nice, uh, nice one to show. Um, at some point, I'd like to get a TV in here to the right of me on this wall. Um, no real reason. I'll plug it in as a third monitor, but I can watch films. I'll have films on that and use that for editing. So that's kind of what's going on, if you like. Um, but yeah, apologies for how, how long it's been. As I say, the channel's going to be renamed Robbo's Reviews because it's not just going to be about tech. But now I am getting back into the swing of things. The car is where I want it to be once I've got all the kit painted and back on and topped the wash with the wax up for the winter. That's my car done. So we'll be able to then get back to the technology and uh, start reviewing some more stuff and adding some more bits there and reviewing other things. So just thought I wanted to bring you up to speed. So thanks for your patience. Sorry for the delays and uh, 
hopefully we'll get a few more videos more more regularly and uh show you what i'm what i'm up to thanks guys and uh i'll see you soon cheers